Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the Demon Souls Remake walkthrough lore through series. This is episode 2. We are in the Nexus with our Hell Witch. Um, you'll notice in Demon Souls it's a little different than Dark Souls. Uh, when you die, and Dragon God did kill us, and uh, I know his name's Dragon God because I've played this game many times before and we'll talk about him later, but... He killed us, so we're now start the game at half health. Or we're going to start next area at half health. But we're going to pick up an item very soon that will help us get 75% health. Notice this. I love this because you can actually clearly see it. This is actually a fake, foggy, watery wall. Because this disappears and all the way down there you actually will find the old one slumbering. It's sealed right here in the nexus and if we have all the demon souls we can specifically king lance soul not really even king lance but we'll get to that at the end of the game um we can actually go lure the old one back to slumber as our mission has stated can't find the uh maiden in black right here but it's okay we'll find her once we beat the demon in the first area so let's go to Boletarian pa uh, Palace, uh, the Gates of Boletaria, Archstone of the Covetous King. A huge stone castle in the heart of the northern kingdom of Boletaria. Hungry soldiers attack trespassers, their souls stolen by demons, while nearby terrible dragons have taken root. We'll be, you know, I'm, I, I want to talk about the game's lore as we go through. I, oh, gosh, this opening cinematic. Let's, let's watch this real quick. Dragon. Look at them all eating all the Balzarian soldiers. They're at the gates of Baltaria. So this is the home of uh, King Alant. I'm going to go all the way back here. We're going to pick up a late moon grass. And gosh, this really does look incredible. Look at this. This looks... They, it, Blue Point knocked it out of the park, man. Knocked it out of the park. I wish they... You know, they stayed a little too fateful. But it's still pretty excellent. Grass. Up to me. We're going to pick up plenty because we have the uh, ring. This gate will be open in either pure black or pure white tendency. I'm actually not going to do the pure white tendency event here. I'm going to wait till it goes pure black and go through that gate. Because if I defeat the crystal lizards over there, they will drop item uh they'll drop hearthstones uh basically weapon upgrade materials and because my rapier is plus two and kill that guy with a counter hit with one hit these guys can go down with one hit Trying to get the counter. Got the counter on that guy. That gate is closed. That will be a shortcut, ultimately. Love the fire effects, and magic looks so cool. This will be the ultimate shortcut for the area. We'll come back to that. We'll unlock that. That's a uh, another shortcut up there that we'll unlock soon. It has a very important item. Oh, boy. I need to start being careful. 
And we got pine resin. Very nice. We'll read that in a minute after we take care of these enemies. Be careful, do not fall down there. It's a bit of, uh, so, uh, I guess it looks like souls, but, um, crescent moon, very nice. Um, that will lead to your death. <laughs> Read the pine resin. Guy right. That is going to be an ambush. That's why it behooves you to try to beat, restart, and beat uh, Vanguard Demon. Because you'll pick up, whether your starting weapon is anything of dex or strength, you'll pick up two of each, a Hearthstone, Sharpstone, and you can upgrade your weapon to plus two, which is really, really nice at the beginning of the game. Picked up a firebomb. Very useful. So, you... Every time you play this game in each world, we're, we, you're picking up items that actually will help you defeat the boss of the area. Oh my gosh, I am... So I picked up Firebomb, Pine Resin. Pine Resin you apply to your weapon, standard weapon, it will apply fire damage. Firebombs are firebombs, and uh, they explode, they will actually, both of those will help you beat the first boss, first true boss of this area. Very easily. An Unknown Warrior Soul, back here. Get the mail breaker. Great parrying weapon. <laughs> it's, it's some magic. Uh, we're gonna come up with some. God, it looks so cool. Gosh, it looks so cool. Last an enemy. back. Kill that guy because he's hurling fireballs at you. <laughs> so cool. That will be broken. That gives you a hint that there will be broken. You can back and get that. We'll do that in a minute. I'm out here. Yes. So this is the home of King Alant. King Alant ruled over Volataria. Um, and he's messing around with soul arts. And that's a big no-no. We're going to keep seeing and hearing from people in the world that soul arts are a big no-no. down here. Get this item again. It's the Bastard Sword. Love the Bastard. Don't have enough strength to... Read the lore on it in a few. Um, so that's the kind of... the. That's the setup in the world, you know? The, 
Man has used the soul arts. King Lant used the soul arts. Demons came, ruined the land. Um, I actually advise you to just kill these guys and don't go further. They have chance to drop uh, materials. You do not need to go go face this enemy back there. Here. You can beat him, especially with magic. Very easily, not too bad. Um, there's just a grass item over there, but we'll come back here later when we have the key to the mausoleum. There's a mausoleum there, actually. Um, and there's actually a quest we have to do over there. But I recommend just saving it. Saving it for much later. Practice our pairing. One parry should do it, especially if it's at plus two. Throwing knife, half moon grass. Now, we're not going to go through here. We're actually going to unlock a shortcut here. We're going to keep going. A very... Very essential shortcut. Get six fire bombs. Very essential. I should turn up the brightness. Actually, wow, it is really dark. I should turn it up. You know what? Maybe not because it adds. It adds so much. And those guys killed themselves. Be careful because they have torches. And in those barrels, you can see. Is gasoline. They can set themselves on fire. Set you on fire and one shot you. So proceeding with caution is uh, the best strategy. Still got me, even with uh, all my uh, got a broken sword, which is nice. We're gonna upgrade that for a weapon. We're going to come here. We're going to cut these chains. And I'll drop two very important items. One for a quest. Finish Stockpile Thomas's quest. And one, a very valuable ring. That will give us 25% more health. I don't understand why I'm not getting these. Oh, yeah, he did. No. Break these so I don't get myself set on fire. another one right because he fell no oh okay here's a mechanism that will open the shortcut so now you don't have to start all over we pick up the cling ring here and off the chains we pick up age spice old ragged boots old ragged gloves those are for females and the jade hair ornament So let's check it out. Okay, we got fire bombs, right? We got pine resin. Natural resin that exudes from pine trees applied to right-hand weapon to create temporary flame. Not for use of wooden weapons, obviously. <laughs> we also got throwing knives. A uh, knife balance for throwing aim and throw to attack. A handy pickup, uh, backup weapon for lightly equipped knights. An oil flat, a fire bomb. An oil flask with burning cloth fuse shatters and ignites on impact. We got more soul items. Um, let's see. We also got the Bastard Sword. This large sword is similar to a straight sword. The verse is a versatile weapon, but its weight means it usually requires the use of both hands. Smashing overhead attack greatly depletes target stamina and easily breaks their guard. Mailbreaker. Though it's an exceedingly small rapier, lacks the cutting edge. It can pierce through the toughest armor, so great crit weapon. Uh, rapiers boast great damage despite the narrow attack range, performing well against metal armor hard skills in particular. However, they're easily parried and do little break enemy hard. 
broken sword, straight sword, broken blade, covered in rust, rust, rusted with blood and other wounds. The old ragged set. A robe made of layers of ragged fabric, covered in tears, open seams, and writhing grubs. No person in their right mind would don these garments on their own. We will talk about this garb. This belongs to someone. We also picked up the most important ring in the game, the cling ring. Mysterious ring shaped like an eye reduces the loss of HP sustained in soul form. And we are in soul form. So, let's put that ring on. We want to keep, we want to take off the fragrant ring, because I'm not using that much magic, and put on the cling ring. Use some grass. Now we have 75% of our health. I really want to make this uh, character kind of, and, and do a showcase build of this, and, and, and off-screen... Um, I may stream on my Twitch channel off screen while, um, this character's grinding to grind for souls and items because I really want to make this the ultimate build. It's going to be a hybrid of magic using, faith using, and, uh, quality weapons. Kind of making it a jack of all trades build and we're going to be doing some we're going to show you some easy stuff to do at the beginning of the game we're going to get a very powerful weapon over here is actually a friend that we're going to meet ostrava first i'm going to go here this guy right here Wow, he got me. Can't believe he got me. I'm actually going to come uh, back up here and uh, defeat these enemies. But first, we're going to jump this, press circle. I like that you press circle now. Get the thief ring, another incredibly OP ring in this game. We see it. A surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dragglings. He is our first NPC that we have a quest for. He's got an interesting shield and sword, dressed in the fluted set. A, bold leap. a surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dragglings. No problem, bro. So our task is to help him. If you have fire bombs or throwing knives that we picked up, you can put them on these guys. But we've got magic. And he jumps off when you're done. My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Volataria. Accept Ace. this as a token of my gratitude. Ostrava of Volataria. Got the brass telescope. Talk to him. Now I take my leave. There is something I must do. He's on a mission. There's something he must do. We'll talk more about who he is. No matter how far I venture, only the soul starved remain. Is there a single sane person left in Volataria? Say it. No matter how far I venture, only the soul starved remain. Is there a single sane person left in Volataria? Gosh, I, I have to try to keep Ostrava alive. That was an accident, dude. I'm trying to kill them for you. I'm going to have to go up and kill everything. He doesn't say father, which lets you... Uh, maybe he says it in the second level. Ostrava. Getting us killed. We just kind of have to escort him through here. We'll come back and get all the items.
No matter how far I venture, only the... Is there a single sane person left? You can actually hit them with a firebomb. Stone shard, hardstone shard. Pick everything up and talk about the lore in a few minutes. Just have to escort Ostrava. Oh goodness, where did you go? It gets really derpy, so you have to escort. I know we have a item back there that we'll get. Trying to get it behind him with a back stick. But we were right there. We're actually going to back a little venture forward. Use grass as much as you want. It's easy to get grass. It's easy to farm for grass. Very easy. Get stuck around here. Totally okay. Um, is this an is this a world tendency item? Remember that. Oh, it was easy. No, of course you can get it through here. Of course. Like oh, yes, scimitar. Oh, there's our friend. No matter how far I venture, only the soul starved remains. But he says, "Father." That changes dialogue. Single sane person left in Bolotai. Father. It's supposed to give you a hint of who his uh, character is. I think we've actually saved Ostrava from killing himself. Nice, because he's going to just wander back and forth here. Got people shooting at us. Gonna keep shooting at him, so I'm gonna go beat them. 
Flick. Oh goodness. Go get him. I do love Estrava though. He's kind of a bonehead, but I, I really love his character. He's kind of... I, I like to think of him as the first Solaire. And, uh... You'll see what I mean. Once we figure out who he is. I want to kill the Archer. It's driving me nuts. That's one archer. Warrior soul. Also a knight, so I think we're gonna have to parry him. Yeah. Come on. That's kind of a trick because they're... It, you'll actually fall if you hit them, but we're going to go meet a merchant now, I believe. I think this is time to meet the merchant. We're going to buy some cool armor off of it. Back here, this is actually where we started from. Where did you guys... Oh, that's right. You guys come from above. They actually come from right there. Totally forgot about them. That guy draws your attention, gets your eyes away from looking on top. Drop your hair, boy. No? through here. A little secret. We come upon our first real merchant in the world. So cool. Oh, he looks really cool. Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? Oh, they changed his voice actor, Mostly I think. Stolen, but who's telling him? Absolutely. So he's got Crescent Moongrass, Half Moongrass, Firebomb, Soldier Lotus. We haven't seen this one. Uh, a petal of blue flower that floats on the water consumed to stop bleeding. In Boletaria, these petals have symbolic meaning and are given to warriors when sent off to war. And the longsword, one of my favorite weapons. Standard straight sword. Through the run of the mill, straight swords are versatile weapons that provide some normal attack, which is effective against a wide variety of targets as well as potent thrusting attacks. And the club. I eventually will buy all these. Uh, a coarse wooden club. Blunt weapons which do not rely on blades are effective against uh, metal armor, uh, metal armor, and hard scales, as well as draining foe stamina and breaking their defense, their shield's defense. Following through the one of the swings, connecting through an optimal hit, inflicting more damage than normal. And then the short spear, standard spear. Spears function as rapiers uh, with a longer reach. They have narrow attack range, but deal heavy damage. Spears perform well against metal armor and the hard scales in particular. However, they're easily parried and do little to break the enemy's guard. So they, they also do allow one attack with the shield. Light crossbow. Small to easy. Operate crossbow issued by Boltarian soldiers. To fire crossbow bolts must be equipped. Cannot be precision fired. Reloading takes time. And the wooden shield. Lighter than its metal counterpart, but absorbs less damage and breaks easily due to their... their Durability. Small wooden shield issued to shoulders has a higher durability than an uh, ordinary wooden shield, owing its efficiency to place metal. Metal reinforcements, and then the dregling shield. Shoddy wooden shield used by dreglings, a little more than patchwork 
What scraps this attempt to imitation can hardly be called a shield. Wooden bolts. Then this. I want this. Plate helm. Iron helm warm by uh, commonly worn by foot soldiers. The toughness of this helm owes its simplicity and weight. Slightly slow stamina regeneration. Then this is the same thing for the armor. I really like this armor. Coat of plates. I don't have enough. All right, we'll fix that in a second. Really, all he has. Brave knight or lowly fodder, the demons snatched their souls regardless of their station, plummeting them all into madness. And those who dare cling to their humanity were hunted down. It is the end of Great Boletaria as we know it. Oh, Lord, they are what happened. At least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> That's interesting right there. So he's he's a merchant, right? But he's basically looting corpses and selling this stuff to There's us. This skinny fellow, clad in the most lavish armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. That's a Strava. He's another one who's managed to stay sane. Like yourself. Probably some pampered little... So people are going crazy. The They're losing their humanity. I'd give an arm just for the buttons off his... He just shirt. said that he's a pampling, uh, pampering lordling. So he's a lord. Wonder who... What kind of royalty he is. I think you could tell who he is it soon. Is the end of great but hell. He's another one who's probably some See? pampered, pampered little, little lordling, lordling by the, by the looks of his attire. Just for the buttons off so his attire looks like he is a uh, lord. Come. Um, let's see. So we want to do some more of our souls. All right. Or that. Other right. one. What would oh, it be no. then? Other one. All right. It is the end, but hell. Thanks for that. Come back soon. Change up our fashion a little. Cool. Brown. Oh, I'm fat rolling. They're a little heavier. Okay. That's okay. Still fat rolling. Okay, we're fat, fast rolling, but we got a cool coat of plates on. Is uh, offers us better defense. Go back here. Actually, from where we started before we hopped down. Actually, where we hopped down to save us Strava, right there. So. It all wraps around. I don't think there's anything back cool. This is where the penetrate or the co coin is uh, in fractured mode and pure white tendency. We're going to be doing all those in uh, events as well. I think it ne you need two new game pluses or one new game plus 
be able to get all the coins and be able to get the penetrator's armor. Not much lore on it, which is really sad, but still really cool. Here is a trap, so we're going to hit this. Step away. These have... Uh, boulders. And it will actually kill all the draglings. Nice, got some bolts from that one. You can actually hear... Here, I'm actually wearing my AirPod Pros. You can hear the dragon lumbering. Up the audio if you need to. Okay, so now, here, let me offer some advice here. Um, do not go to the left. This is a pure white tendency event that I recommend you wait for until you get pure white tendency. I would wait if I were you until it's pure white tendency because this way is two dragons. They disappear with pure white tendency. But we have to be very careful here, because there is a dragon. I'm gonna wait here until he shows. Run all the way back. Shoot, he did not. He's gonna breathe fire and you won't be able to pass, so. Wait till he. Fine, and then you're gonna have to sprint all the way back. Forward. Flies from there. Come on. There he is. Bro! <laughs> is he not gonna breathe fire? <laughs> I cannot believe he's not breathing fire. I think he actually can't get me here, but... Oh, he did get me. Wow. Actually, spells at him, but we're not going to mess around with that bridge yet. Want to unlock the shortcut first? This will unlock the gate to the first boss, the real first boss of the game. So cool. Now we're ready to take on the first boss. I'll go back up there and get the items, hopefully.
come roll here, we will get another four pine resins. Perfect for the boss, because the boss is weak to fire. Have to read the thief's ring. Our soldier seal. Nice. Love the fire effects. I'm getting a little sloppy. I need to relax because... Heartstone shards, so you can farm these guys for heartstone shards, which is great. You have to attack them from the back or use a fire weapon to get them, because that's that's basically the boss right there. It's going to be a bunch of those. Aerosol, nothing here. Down. Fell off. Died. Half moon grass. And we have our shortcut. Later. Now we're at the beginning of the level right here, and now we can go fight the boss. But I am going to go try and get that, um, get those items. I only have 700 souls, so if I die, I really don't care. Because it's only 700 souls, I can get that <laughs> very easily. Um... That's why I like to spend all my souls at the merchant. So if I die, it's not a big deal. You know, I don't need to run back and get my souls. I can just progress through the level. I can do a speed run. Um, because the souls that you get from this level are just... They're not they are not going to help you level up quickly. It's the other worlds that will. Worth it. Worth it for that extra fire, Mom. Dragon didn't even come. So awesome. Now we're ready to take on the boss. And as soon as uh, we defeat the boss, we'll actually be returned to human form, full health. But we want to die in the Nexus to control our world tendency. We'll talk more about world tendency in the next episode. And we'll talk about the Monumental in the next episode, because we're actually going to talk to him. We'll be able to finally level up and talk to the Maiden in Black next episode. And I'm feeling great, man. I uh, just ate some Ruffles, Sour Cream, and uh, Shatter. Let me know in the comments below if you love those Ruffles. Or what chips are your favorites? Shouldn't be eating chips during this quarantine, but yay, man. Celebrating with the little demon souls. Got my PS5. So happy. So we are going to actually take a lot of the stuff off. But we've got nine. We'll be okay with nine. Uh, we want to put on pine resin. We want to put on fire bombs.
run away. I like to take all these uh, individuals out first because there's a chance they drop hardstone. Once you beat all these guys, Heal up. Got one left. Once we beat them, he's actually very defenseless. Nice, got a Hearthstone. Now this guy's just a husk, so I'm gonna go loot the uh, phalanxes. Got another sharp stone. Oh man, I only got two drops. Yeah, this guy's harmless. He can't do anything for you now. You just beat him to death. You hit him with fire, he just goes down easily, but no need to waste pine resin. R2s. It's incredibly easy. Definitely the easiest boss in any Souls game, I think. There we go. We beat our first official boss of Demon Souls and earned our first trophy, the Phalanx. Trophy. Demon Vanished. Body restored, you have gained your body and bring more souls of We get the lead demon soul as soon as we touch the R stone, and now we go to So the next part's gonna be called the Lord's Pass, but we're not path, but we're not gonna be doing that. As soon as we go to the Nexus, we'll be greeted to this little cutscene. There she is with her wax covered eyes. Monumental awaits the above. So we have to talk to the monumental before we level up. A lot of lore. The monumental dish is so much lore. Basically the whole story of the game right here. For the most part. There's some things you have to figure out first, but that's the stairway path to the monumental. Also, what's nice is we're gonna go get some of the items in the Nexus. Available. Now we can will explain the nexus to thee. Yes, and offer an explanation of the nexus. Thank you. I have 3,375 souls. We have to die in the nexus so we can control our 
world tendency, but we'll talk about that uh, in the next episode. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And let's uh let's do let's do something. Take care.